When you guys start one and two and you don't have a conference title or something tangible to play for in terms of championships or titles like that and the playoffs look out of the picture right now, what obviously you're all competitors, but I guess how do you as captains get everybody excited to still play? What do you kind of, uh, what's the motivation, I guess, you guys uh, try to drive home with the rest of the team as uh, they try to get out of this one and two right here? Um, just the fact that, you know, we can still finish the regular season 10 and two. Uh, that's still a, a great season. And, um, you know, we finished the season 10 and two last year. So uh, that's definitely something that, that we're looking, looking to, um, I guess, rally around and, uh, and just try to get the guys to understand we still have games to win. And uh, we still got a lot of good opponents on our schedule. Uh, so we got to keep pushing forward. Sorry, Coach Kelly talked a lot about having a better sense of urgency uh, going forward. What does that sort of mean to you, and how do you kind of instill that in your teammates going forward? Um, I just think that, you know, it needs to be a sense of urgency in, in all aspects of, of our lives. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, being somewhere on time or, or um, you know, making sure everything is, is uh, up to par in the locker room. Uh, in practice, we have to, you know, have a sense of urgency about, you know, getting as many plays in as we can, uh, running on and off the field type thing like that. Um, so it's just definitely, I think, you know, giving more effort uh, than we than we already have, um, and, and getting off to a better start. Um, and I think that it starts outside of the football field. Um, and I think I think he told us that uh, yesterday in, in one of the team meetings. So. Um, I would agree with that message, and, and we're just trying to relay that as captains and leaders of this team. Is it something that you guys have lacked, or has it just not been to the level that you necessarily need it? Uh, yeah, I think I think that it just needs to be raised. Um, you know, I think we we do a good job of you know going out there, but it definitely needs to be raised to a higher level. For the offense, Coach Kelly also mentioned that he wants Deshaun to play with you know a greater sense of urgency. Specifically, when things kind of bogged down there in the second and third quarters against Michigan State, what sort of was going wrong in that phase where you couldn't really get anything going? Um, I just think that, uh, you know, like you said, we weren't playing with a sense of urgency. Um, you know, guys were, you know, kind of just lax the days ago, it felt like. And uh, there was no, no spark. You could just kind of, sense it on the sideline. And I think that's kind of what what kind of held us back and, and what slowed us down. And, uh, you know, once we came out and, and made a play, made a play or two, that spark kind of came back. And and uh, that's that's when the game kind of turned around. To our looking at it maybe from the other perspective, what do you feel you guys are doing well offensively that you can build upon to help mitigate some of the negatives? Um, I think that we are, um, you know, we're, we're making plays. I think we can we can make plays. Uh, we're capable of them. Uh, so I think that's one of the things that we have done well. Uh, we made plays downfield, and um, but it's just the consistency thing that 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 really needs to be upped is is our consistency for sure. But we have the ability and we have done it. So. Um, yeah, I think consistency is definitely something that we need to work on. And, and as a captain, um, what is your message to the receivers and, and the offense in general? Uh, specifically, the receivers is that, um, you know, the team is counting on us uh, to make plays. And, you know, if we're, if we're not doing what we're supposed to do, then the offense is, is kind of hard for it to operate. Uh, so, you know, if, we, if we're not making plays and, then, and the team wants to load the box, then we have to be counted on to be able to, to make plays and, and spread them back out. So uh, I think that's the message to the, to the receivers. But as, as far as the team goes, or the offense, uh, we just have to be more consistent and, and practice harder and practice with uh, an attention to detail and, uh, and make sure, you know, all of our, our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed uh, come Saturday. And how did you feel physically and mentally coming back from the injury? Um, I felt I felt amazing, man. It felt great to be back out there. Uh, you know, after that first play, uh, you know, I kind of felt a, a rush of energy. 
uh, just to be back out there and with the team. And yeah, it was just, it was an awesome experience to be back out there with the guys. And then you individually, your game, what, what do you want to build upon? What, what do you feel you need specifically to improve in your individual game? Um, I would say just the fact that I need to, I need to be able to um, always be counted on to be open. I feel like, uh, you know, sometimes, um, you know, I'm, I may kind of slip up or, or not be as open as I should be. I need to be somebody that's, that's open constantly and I can be counted on to be where I need to be uh, when the ball needs to be thrown. So I think that's one of the things that I can work on in, in my game. Do you feel the responsibility to be this year's Will Fuller, or do you recognize that he's a different type player and, and you just have to find your niche within all this? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to compare myself to him at all. That's, that he, that's who he was, and um, I was just a totally different receiving core this year. Uh, and I was telling people at the beginning of the season uh, that that is going to be more distributed. You know, uh, there's other guys that can make plays as well. Uh, it's just not it's not going to be a one man show like it, it was last year. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not comparing myself to him at all. Thanks, Tori. Tori, how how valuable would you say Deshaun is to to your offense and to this team? Uh, I would say he's very valuable. Um, you know, he he puts us in a great position to be successful. Um, and, you know, he's real smart. He's a competitor. And uh, he's, he's also a great leader. Um, uh, he also, yeah, he just operates, op operates the offense very well. And uh, he's super smart and, and helps us out a lot and puts us in, in good place. Do you see him as a future NFL quarterback? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I can see him as, a, as an NFL quarterback. He's not afraid to take hits. Uh, he keeps his eyes downfield. And uh, he has the potential to be a great, great quarterback in the future. What do you see from Duke that makes them uh, a tough opponent for, for your offense? Um, they're, once again, they're going to test our, our receivers. And uh, we got to make plays again this week. Uh, you know, they got a lot of, you know, great DBs uh, that can make plays. Um, they, they have a pretty good turnover uh, margin, I think. So uh, I, think, I think they're going to be a tough opponent. And we shouldn't take them lightly, no matter you know their basketball school or whatever you want to call them. So, and how important is it for you guys to kind of get the energy going in the stadium Saturday? Uh, obviously, at one and two, the fans might be in a little bit of lull in the beginning. How important is it to get the energy going in there? Uh, I think it's very important. Um, you know, every, everybody looks to the fans, uh, you know, for support and some energy as well. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely a, a big advocate for, for some energy from the crowd. I'm, I'm always trying to turn around and hype up the crowd and get people to stand up. Uh, so, you know, if they can help us out a little bit, I think that will help, help a lot. Tori, I'm curious what your opinion is of Chase Clay. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, she's, she's next. OK. <laughs> Uh, Chase Claypool's game uh, and sort of how you've seen him progress just from the when he showed up here in June to, to right now. Uh, yeah, Chase is, has grown up a lot. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't know how much of a uh, factor he would play in this year. Uh, but he's definitely stepped up a lot. He's grown as a football player. Uh, he's still got some learning to do, but he definitely has a playmaking ability uh, down the field. And uh, he's also helped out a lot on special teams. Uh, he's definitely been a high energy guy for us. Uh, he's made a lot of plays, a lot of tackles on, um, yeah, I think he's on punt and uh, kickoff. So yeah, he's made a lot of plays for us and he's, he's helped us out a lot. And following up on that, Brian Kelly mentioned sort of the competition level being a, such a huge jump for him. You did not have that problem coming from Texas. Is that a real thing like if, to adjust to the compete level at college? I mean, it's adjustment for everybody, but in particular for him coming from Canada. Um, I think there you have to increase your compete level for sure, because you know guys are, are really good at this level. So you have to increase your compete level and, um, and just kind of go in with the mindset that I'm not going to let this guy beat me. I'm not going to let him take this ball out of my hand. I'm not going to you know, let, him, let him win overall. So uh, I think that's something that you kind of have to grow a mindset. but. Uh, you know, I was always in a competitive situation uh, coming from where I came from. I mean, I'm not sure any, of anything about Vancouver football or 
anything like that. So uh, I, you definitely have to raise your compete level, though, once you get to the collegiate level and then once you get to the, the NFL level, too. Right. Yeah, she needs the mic. She hasn't talked yet. <laughs> So how are you feeling now? I know you said that, you know, after that first play, you felt amazing. But now that you've had a few days, you know, post game, how are you feeling? Um, I still feel good. Uh, it was a tough practice yesterday. Um, I think it was tough for everybody. We're kind of grinding out this week uh, because we had a lot of tests. I think people are starting to have tests and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely going to be a grind this week. but. Um, I think the message from all the leaders on this team is that we still have to go out here and, and compete and get better this week, uh, you know, because we have a, a very good opponent on Saturday. I just mean because of, you know, the concussion. Oh, my concussion. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm way past that. I don't, you are. I don't want to look back. <laughs> How long did it take for you to, you know, feel back to normal again? Um, yeah, so after the Texas game, it, it took about a week. Uh, for me to, to start feeling like myself again. So Sunday to Sunday, uh, I started feeling like myself again. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I kind of think that I'm good now. I don't want to look back at it and uh, start thinking about it, but I'm, I'm feeling good. What was the, sorry, we keep asking, but what was kind of the process of the injury to you know being cleared and ready to go again? Uh, yeah, so. Um, the Monday after the game, I kind of came in and, and did a light uh, bike workout uh, just to get my heart rate up a little bit and then just increased from there. So I went from the bike to the elliptical and then the next day I went from the elliptical to the treadmill and then from the treadmill to the field and then um, the so last Tuesday I, uh, I went out there and, and practiced and um, just just to see how I felt, non-contact, and then uh, just increased from there. So I did non-contact, a little bit more contact, and then I was full go on that Thursday uh, before the game. And then Saturday I was playing, so that's how it went. Did you have any concerns before Saturday about how you might feel or anything like that? Uh, no, I was I was pretty confident that I was going to be okay. Anything else? Tori, you guys started out 6 0 your sophomore year before the loss, and then a few weeks later, things kind of unraveled from there. I'm curious, as a younger player, did you confront the disappointment a little bit differently than you do now when you realize you're talking about motivation earlier? So when you realize that the playoffs are kind of out of the picture? Uh, can you say the question again? I'm sorry. So as a younger player, did you confront the disappointment of realizing that the playoffs are out of the picture a little bit differently than you might now, having uh, gone through that experience? Um, no, I think as a competitor, I still kind of had the same mindset that I, you know we wanted to go out there and, and win, win some games. and, and uh, still prove that we need to be here. Um, so as a competitor, I don't think my mindset has changed much. Um, I always want to go out there and win no matter what, uh, no matter what the the end goal is. Uh, even if we couldn't play in the national championship, I still want to win no matter what the record is and what the record looked like. So um, yeah, I still have the same mindset I had as a, as a sophomore. Thanks. Mm-hmm.